Hi, Paul Rienzo here. Hey, um, one of the things that I've noticed about being a Christian or being in Christian community is that we become really sure about everybody else. You know what I mean? It's like we begin to feel we have the privilege or the ability to interpret what everybody else is about, who they are, what their motives is, what drives them. And it's interesting, we become too sure about everyone else. Well, Jesus has an experience with a guy that's pretty sure about everybody else. But in the middle of the story, we're going to find out that he's really not too sure about anything. But there are people who are moving about that are sure about one thing. Let me just read you the story. It comes out of Luke chapter 7, starting verse 36. Now, one of the Pharisees was requesting him to come dine with him. And Jesus entered the Pharisee's house and reclined at the table. And there was a woman in the city who was a sinner. And when she learned that Jesus was reclining at the table in the Pharisee's house, she brought an alabaster vial of perfume. And standing behind him at his feet, weeping, she began to wet his feet with her tears and kept wiping them with her hair and kissing his feet and anointing them with her perfume. I mean, first of all, a very incredibly hostile environment for this woman to go into where everybody seems to be sure about her, that she's a sinner. And she's willing to press into this environment and to encounter Jesus because she's sure about Jesus. I mean, she's very confident about who Jesus is. Now, when the Pharisee who had invited Jesus saw this, he said to himself, if this man was a prophet, he would know who and what sort of person this woman is who is touching him and that she is a sinner. See, here's the typical religious response. I'm really sure about who this woman is and what she's about. And Jesus answered him. And I think that's funny because it doesn't say the man said it out loud. It's, it's like Jesus is in this guy's head. He, he knows about this problem that we're too sure about other people. So Jesus answers this man's self, this, his inner perspective about other people. And Jesus answered him, Simon, I have something to say to you. And he replied, say it, teacher. A moneylender had two debtors, one owed five denarii, the other 50. When they were unable to pay, he graciously forgave them both. So which one will love him more? And Simon the Pharisee answered and said, I suppose the one who, whom he forgave more. And Jesus said to him, you have judged correctly. So it's kind of like, you got the ability to figure this out if I lay it out in front of you. Then Jesus, turning towards the woman, he's, he's going to continue to talk to Simon, but he, he's talking to the woman. It's a real expression of dignity that, that Jesus is doing. He says to Simon, do you see this woman? And, and I think that's rhetorical. I think Jesus is saying, um, you think you see this woman, but I don't think you see this woman. You think you see and know everything about other people, but I don't think you really see her. But Jesus continues, do you see this woman? I entered your house and you gave me no water f for my feet, but she was, uh, has wet my feet with her tears and wiped them with her hair. You gave me no kiss, but she, since the time I entered in, has not ceased to kiss my feet. You did not anoint my head with oil, but she anointed my feet with perfume. I mean, so what Jesus is saying is to this man, it's like, you're really sure about her, but you obviously aren't sure about me. Whereas the woman is very sure about Jesus in this story. Jesus says, for this reason, I say to you, her sins, which are many, have been forgiven. For she has loved much, but he who is forgiven little loves little. Then he said to the woman, your sins have been forgiven. And those who were reclining at the table with Jesus began to say to themselves, who is this man who even forgives sins? And Jesus said to the woman, your faith has saved you. Go in peace. Do you see this woman? You think you know about everybody else. And Jesus is like, I don't think you do. I would think, I think that he even took it further. I think he said, Simon, I don't even think you're sure about me. And then as a res 
as we see a response from the parable that Simon doesn't seem to relent after hearing this parable and really doesn't even get it's about him, I don't think Simon even sees himself the right way. So it, to me, this little story, this episode of Jesus shows that we need to walk around with a little bit of humility, realizing that we can be too sure about everyone else. We think we know what their life is. We think we know what's going on within them, and we really don't. We can even, to a degree, think we know ourselves super well. But really what we find out from the woman is that the most important thing you need to understand for sure is who Jesus is. And then out of that surety of knowing who Jesus is, then we can begin to properly place ourselves and everyone else rightly and kindly in the story. Have a great day.